All right, hello everybody. This is Andrew Perkowski checking in from the fish room. And today I wanted to do a little bit of a fry update. This tank here has um, Zoogeneticus tequila, Rio Teochitlan. These fry are ranging anywhere from that larger one up front is probably closer to five months old. Um, all the way down to probably about two months old. I believe I have maybe 25 or 30 in here. You can see there's a whole lot of activity. Um, I used to keep moss with these guys, um, but I was getting a little bit too much algae growth, so I decided to switch to the guppy grass. But they're all doing wonderfully. I just thrown some food in too. You can see. Healthy numbers in here. Love it, love it. That one in the front there, in the middle, with a slightly longer dorsal fin, I actually think that one's gonna turn out to be male. He's right there in the front. Anyway, moving on down. Um, in here is the Xenotoka duadrioi. I did have the fry in a basket, but they've grown up a bit and are now free in the main tank. Let's see. There. And they're hanging out in this uh, dwarf Sagittaria. So they look wonderful. Look at that, look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. When I release them, I actually put them directly into this plant. I knew it would be the uh, the best hide. I have seen them out a little bit more doing some stuff. I need to replant that bacopa. Yeesh. It's been a little while. But anyway, Xenotoga duadroi, San Marcos. These guys are doing great. Let's see if I can find the male that has the really nice bands. They're in here somewhere. All right, another tank here with fry that were born here. You can see there's a few different sizes of fish, but this is the Atneobius tauri, the blue tail gadeid. Um, the location on these guys is Antiohitos. That female there actually looks like she's ready to drop. Um, Towards the back of the abdomen will become pointed, like right, right in front of the anal fin. That's a pretty good indicator that there's gonna be gonna be some more fry coming soon. Yeah. There you can see my babies. And the obvious tower eye. Like I said, there's a whole bunch in here, different sizes. You see how it's white right there by the anal fin? She very well could have just given birth in here. Um, there are a number of fry. I had a couple females that looked to be quite large. But look at that. In this tank, the fry hang out towards this back area so it might be difficult to see um, however in this tank the fry are actually getting to be um, fairly large and let's see it figures as soon as I get the camera out that they would start hiding goodness Oh, here we go. So this is Scyphia multipunctata, Lago de Camacuero. I recently posted about these guys, but... Already the fry are growing and doing more stuff. Oh, here's some more of the babies. And you can see the parents don't really... The adults don't really mess with them too much. This is, um... 
something nice I've noticed about the the Gideads that tend to be more herbivorous. I don't feel like it's as much of a risk to have the fry in the main tank, but some of these other guys, like the tequilas, I definitely wanted to pull them. But anyway, that was just a quick update on my Gadead fry. I wish I could find the fry here. Um, this tank is super packed with guppy grass. But that female looks like she's ready to burst. Oh, mama. Anyway, if you guys like what I'm doing, hit like and subscribe. I'll be sure to post more updates. I love it down here.